Hello and welcome to the Fast Reports Academy. This is the final video about the MS chart object. We've already made a simple chart and examined all the parameters that a single series can have. And today we will take a look at the chart area settings. So let's start. This is again the report we made in the first video. So the first thing you can do in the chart settings is adding a second series. Not all series are compatible, but the same type of series will not be incompatible with the second instance, and in certain cases can be combined with it. So we'll add a second pie chart and set it up almost like the first one. It will display the product price without multiplying it by units in stock. For now, the order of series in the chart depends on the order in which you add them. So in the data section, you can set up what data the series of the chart will receive in process. Then appearance. Here you can choose how the chart will look. You can choose a template or set up everything manually. And you can save your custom pattern as an XML file. In the chart area settings, you can customize the appearance of every area that's occupied by a series. You can change the fill, the border and the shadow. Next, the 3D settings. They are only applied to the first series if they aren't stacked. So, if you want separate 3D series, it's recommended to use several chart objects. You can rotate the chart and change its parameters. For example, you can turn the pie chart into a cylinder. Now we'll look at a case where we have two bar series in the same chart object. As you can see, they are automatically combined into a single chart, unlike the pie charts, and the 3D setting makes them both three-dimensional. You can make the series clustered, so none of them cover each other. So, I will change the value of one of the charts, so we can tell them apart. And now you can see that the series order can be changed, if the series are stacked. And in this case, the perspective slider changes the perspective. The axis section can also be demonstrated now, because the bar series have agreed and the pie didn't. You can customize the X axis, the Y one and the secondary axis, and you can copy the appearance from X to Y and from primary to secondary axis. The axis has a lot of specific options, so we'll only give a brief overview. You can disable the axis altogether, you can add a title to an axis, customize the labels, add a strip with text, you can set a color for it. Enable or disable strips, you can see them on the left side of the chart. You can add custom labels. And finally, customize the grid. That's it for the axis section, and now let's look at the legend. We can dock it at several places, place it inside of the chart if we have space left, and of course, change its appearance. You can also add a title for the chart, and it has the same settings as the legend. This was it for today's video about the MS chart object in fastreport.net. Both previous videos about it are linked in the description. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments. And be sure to check out other videos on the channel. We have more videos about fastreport and fastcube.net, and links to the playlists are in the description.